The ingratiating 1408 is based on a Stephen King short story that had pretty much everything it needed. So three writers were brought in to make King's death-affirming tale life-affirming. And there is a significant ratio of Bantuini as a result. However, once this movie gets on its feet, it's a delightful haunted house tale in which psychological terror is preferred to physical attacks. What goes on in the bad hotel room is more of a tribute to David Lynch than to Mr. Jigsaw. John Cusack is the guest who really, really asked for it. And Samuel L. Jackson, Vincent Price is up a storm. Gerald Olin, manager of the Dolphin. I can just get the key to 1408. In the 95 years of the hotel's existence, there have been 56 deaths in 1408. 56. No one's ever lasted more than an hour. Do not stay in that room. Nobody lasts more than an hour. <laughs> You're gonna have to try harder, Olin! Well, this was a dainty dish, wasn't it? Um, and John Cusack uh, holding down the, uh, the fort in an almost a one-man performance as, a, as the, the ghost to Bunker who uh, gets more than he bargained for in this hotel room where everything seems to go haywire. The, um, the, I've noticed, I mean, I've never seen a ghost in a hotel room, but I have been the victim of the malicious uh, clock radio, which is used to such <laughs> sterling effect here. You know, and when I die and go to hell, if, if Lucifer isn't playing uh, close to you by the carpenters or, or you know, over the, uh, the loudspeakers, um, I'll, or we've only just begun, excuse me, I feel, feel like that he's laying down on the yeah. job, but what did what, you think? Well, um, first of all, for anyone out there who's watched the show at yeah. all, they have to know that we love John Cusack. Oh yeah, yeah. Big and fan. this is really, he's as found you said, favor in our hearts. Um, virtually a one-man acting job. Um, he in the room. <laughs> um, uh, and he does it marvelously. Um, I thought that the scary parts of this were very clever and yeah. very unexpected. Yeah, you jump and laugh. It's not yeah. just like a jump. It's not just like being startled all the time. It's but more... there was a serious undertone to this film, mm -hmm. you know, that what Cusack had to un undergo. But when all is said and done, I'm, I'm afraid yeah. that all this was was just an entertainment mm -hmm. with nothing below it. And in the end, the very last moment, you know, like, oh, there really is another occult world around us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord. Um, um, good to see Samuel L. Jackson without screaming and without um, going Rich, into Richly, a yeah, like, like surrounded with, with leather-bound books and the brandy yeah. sniffer and the chess set and everything like that. And, and really playing Vincent Price. And I almost a look in his eye saying, I hope all you fans out there realize this is my impression of Vincent Price. You know, you know what David Thompson used to say about Vincent Price, which I liked, is that, you know, because Price was the heir to a candy fortune, mm -hmm. and he said that, that Price always had a, a genetic sweet tooth for film, oh. for like all those, those kind of rich, chocolatey roles. And yeah. here's like, you know, here's, here's Samuel L. Jackson who's also got this taste for cholesterol-rich entertainments and stuff like that, for flamboyancy and wigs and limps mm -hmm. and scars, you know. It's great to see it. So, you know, I mean, it's a, an enjoyable film. Um, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, nothing serious. And I'm, but I'm certainly going to recommend it. Yeah. Um,